Hello everybody, this is Max with A1WebsitePro.com and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to set up an email with your Gmail. So, uh, well, we're going to do this for my daughter's website, Stories by Faith. We're going to log into her cPanel here and then uh, we're going to go down here <clears throat> oh, let's see, where it says email accounts and we're going to add her an email account. So, we'll go, we'll give her an email called Faith at Stories by Faith and I'll give her a little password here. Okay. And then uh, we'll make it an unlimited mailbox quota and then click create account. And then we see that the account is created. Now if we go over here to more, uh, we can access her webmail by clicking in here. And then maybe uh, we could read it using squirrel mail or uh, so on and so forth. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this email address, faith at storiesbyfaith.com, and we're going to put it into a, her Gmail for her so she doesn't have to access it using uh, Squirrel Mail. Uh, Gmail is something that she uses every day, but this is what Squirrel Mail looks like. And basically, we don't want to use this mail program, we want to use Gmail. So that's what we're going to learn to do in this tutorial. Okay, so now here we are logged into Faith's Gmail, and we want to add her email, email address that we just created. So we're gonna click on this little settings icon here, and we're gonna click on settings, and we're gonna go over here to accounts and import. And then we're gonna scroll down here, it says add another email address that you own. So we're gonna go ahead and click that, and we're gonna leave the name Faith McCullough, and we're gonna capitalize where we need capitalization boom boom and the email address is faith at stories by faith .com. Make sure I got that now we're gonna treat this as an alias because <clears throat> that's what we need to do and it, it because Gmail works better if you treat it as an alias and if you wanted to specify a different to reply to address you can put it in here if Maybe she wants them to reply to a different email address, but we don't want to do that. So we're just going to go to the next step. And we're going to select that send through Gmail because it's easier to set up. If you want to set up through an SMTP, you can do that as well. But uh, we're just going to do it the easy way. And then all we have to do is send verification to Faith at Stories by Faith. Okay, and then they're going to send us a little code. And let me bring up uh, the email. So we, here we're back in the squirrel mail. So we'll go ahead and click check mail. And we see that there's one in our inbox. And it's the Gmail confirmation. And we need this little code right here. We're gonna go ahead and copy that code. And we're gonna bring up the little box. And we're gonna paste that code in there. Click verify. And now that, that it's verified, you'll see right here that Faith McCullough Stories by Faith is selected. Now we want this to be the default from now on, so we're just going to go ahead and click Make Default, and voila, you're all set up. Uh, maybe there's a couple other things that I'll show you here. Now one of the things that you keep, need to keep in mind is that Gmail is really slow whenever it, it goes to accessing the other email accounts, so to pull it off your server. So what you want to do is forward your emails. Uh, faith at stories by faith you want to forward them to faith mccullough 11 at gmail.com this is how you do that in cpanel and so what we'll do is we'll go back to the cpanel and what we're going to do is see this where it says forwarding options we're going to make sure that we're logged in at faith that's by stories by faith click on forwarding options and we want to add a forwarder okay and we're going to go ahead and paste in faithmccullough 11 at gmail.com and click Add Forwarder. Now all emails sent to Faith at Stories by Faith will now be copied to faithmccullough at gmail.com. And she'll be able to get them right there immediately. So maybe we'll do a little test here. I'll go ahead and send faith at storiesbyfaith.com a test email from me. So I'll go ahead and click Copy. Open my Gmail program. I'll click Compose and send it faith stories by faith. Let me do the test. And I'll go ahead and send that. And then let's go ahead and go to her Gmail and see when it comes through here. And you see she got it immediately.
So we could go ahead and display images because I'm her dad. She trusts what I'm sending, hopefully. And so we, we see here that it was sent to Faith at storiesbyfaith.com. She's got it immediately. And now when she replies, I'll just put hi, daddy. And I'll click send. And I'll bring up my Gmail. And I'll have it check my inbox here. We can see it came through just fine. Hi, Daddy. So, and that's basically it. That's how you set up your email with your Gmail, and you'll be able to rock and roll from there. This is Max with A1 Website Pro. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks for watching.